Happy holidays, ladies and gentlemen. December 6, 2011, from Michael Fazio in Key Largo, aka Hoodwink by an Angel. And what you see before you on your screen is what I perceive to be the right eye of the Lord Jesus Christ looking at us through a portal from heaven. The apex of the Great Pyramid being the portion of the portal that is shaped in a triangular nature, the light coming from behind that triangle or apex being the light of the Lord God itself. Individually, I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is represented as the apex of the Great Pyramid, or at least his eye is the apex of the Great Pyramid, for many reasons that are depicted in fine detail in the volume of my 602,000 word 1990 page book. I have made a specific entry in the book about this eye and about these concentric and convex rings that emanate from the pupil. Concentric rings are circular, convex rings are a little bit less circular. Over the pupil of the right eye of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I will repeat that, the right eye of the Lord Jesus Christ appears to be an eyelid with convex rings. Above the convex rings of the eyelid are what appear to be an eyebrow. Above that would be skin. Below the upper eyelid is the pupil. I do not believe it to be of a planetary nature sitting in front of a sun. I don't believe it to be anything more than a high resolution, high optic configuration of a pupil and a an cornea of an eyeball. The con the Concentric rings that appear on the perimeter of the pupil are that of a normal eyeball and all they do is denote that the eyeball is round. The convex rings which appear in the corners of the pupil, corners of the eyelids, uh, represent the outer and inner eyelid, the inner eyelid facing the nose, the outer eyelid facing the, the ear. This is the eye of the Lord Jesus Christ, nothing more and nothing less, that sets upon the table at the top of the base of the Great Pyramid, which we have discussed in another video, which is 44 feet by 44 feet because it represents the last President of the United States of America and the first President as the scepters that set upon and over George Washington's right and left eye. However, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I wanted to point this out to you because the YouTube video that's moving around that says this is a planetary body in front of a sun, I don't believe it to be so. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to be careful. There's a lot of scary things on YouTube. You have to be careful, ladies and gentlemen. Not everything is good looking like me and my the eye of Christ, ladies and gentlemen. And at that point, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a happy holiday, December 6, 2011. God day to you all from Hoodwinked by an Angel.